Hey everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Winter Solstice, and Yule to y'all, whatever you celebrate. Um, as per my last story post, um, and I just finished up watching Finn McKenty's episode about Hatebreed on the Punk Rock NBA. <laughs> I would turn on some Hatebreed for context in the background, hopefully it's not too loud. I was feeling inspired to talk about this band and my connection with them in not only my development as a musician, but as a person. They're extremely close to my heart, and if you pay attention to any of my stories with Spotify and whatever, they're usually in my top three bands because I listen to a lot of Hatebreed. I've deeply connected with their music. I found them around the time, uh, I guess it was 13, 14 years old, and my parents were just, they were going through their divorce. It was honestly about midway through. It took a really long time for my parents to finalize their divorce. It took about seven years in total, and in a kind of fucked up bragging, but not bragging, but to understand the context where I'm coming from way, it, my parents, divorce was actually referenced by many people in the Manitoba court system as one of the worst divorce cases that they experienced and a lot of policies with CFS and how the court deals with children were changed because of their experiences with my family and my brothers and myself. And uh, for some more context there, my, my had extremely uh, physically abusive dad who won't admit that he thinks we're disciplining us whatever but you know I watched my parents rip the clothes off of each other's backs uh, my parents kicking each other through the drywalls my dad throwing my mom off the second story of my house like he spanked us with a wooden spoon until it would break and then he'd use his belt or a metal spatula or whatever was around that he could hit us with um, there wasn't a day I didn't go without getting spanked which I believe in disciplining your children in some degree, but the way that my dad and the extreme that he went to was not right. And that was abuse at that point. Where it was like, I remember one time, hey, I was a good boy today. Oh yeah, why is that a thing? I only got 20 spanks today. 20 spanks. <laughs> I was a good boy. I don't think I deserve 20 spanks on a bad day, you know? <laughs> Two could have been enough. But hey, whatever, I'm, I'm not a parent, never have been. I don't know if I ever will be. Um, fuck it, that was a lot of context. So, hate breed. I was going through kind of a dark time emotionally with no light, not understanding what what is life, where is this heading? Um, can I get out of this? I felt helpless, you know, because I was just a kid. And then once I found Hatebreed, really, they just had all these messages about, you know, perseverance and relying on yourself and you can choose your destiny. It doesn't matter all the fucked up shit that you go through and all the struggles that you have. As long as you can search deep within yourself and you can find the power to carry on, you can make your life into whatever you want it to be. And even if I've lost connection with Hatebreed through listening to a lot of negative messages and other bands and music that I enjoy as well, if I find hate breed again, it always pulls me out of that. Like I went through a really dark time last year when I'd lost a job or a career or whatever you want to call it. It was more of a career I'd, I stepped away from and I was lost in myself and my relationship had dissolved and I was back living with my mom and you know, I didn't have a car and just, it's a bunch of bad things were going on and I was starting to turn to drugs and alcoholism and drinking every day and taking painkillers, which I'm allergic to, by the way, so I was getting really fucked up mentally and physically. And then I found Hatebreed and I just started listening to them nonstop on repeat, especially the song Perseverance and Defeatist and um, This Is Now. And it just pulled me out of that and it made, honestly, 2020 a great year for me because I told myself that I was not going to allow anything to stop 2020 from being the best year that I had and like I can really accredit their message to me that so if I'm ever in your inbox and you're asking for a song to be recommended to you I'm usually recommending a hate breed song to you find that it's this is now or I will be heard or perseverance something like that because I really feel like most people who resonate with like hardcore and metal they, they need that uplifting message it's not a Chad band it's not some stupid redneck band it's not just some cliche tropey dumb message like it's extremely emotionally intelligent and it's important that people 
hear these things and they feel these things deep inside them. And the aggressiveness is just being true to that feeling because I think anger is a huge motivation and anger comes from sadness. It's like, I can stop myself from being sad if I get mad and I can get shit done and I can move forward if I'm mad. I channel my hate, I channel my anger, I channel the things that have upset me from my life and all the wrong that's happened to me instead of being a victim about it, I let it empower me. And the messages in this band's songs is what helped me take on that mindset. It was the first self-help that I had before reading any self-help book or anything like that. And I think a lot of people need to find something like that for them. I just wanted to share my story with this band so that people understand why they pop up so much for me if they're curious and also give them a listen. Check them out. If you want something to help you out when you're feeling low, I recommend Hatebreed. Peace out.